Typically, ca captures under nightfall would not be a possibility, but because we have thermal monoculars, we are able to go in under nightfall and locate both the cow and the cat very efficiently. This past winter, between the months of January and April, we deployed 50 vaginal implant transmitters that are paired with GPS collars. So each cow gets a collar and a transmitter. That collar is in constant communication with the transmitter to, to see if and when it gets expelled. When that happens, the collar is able to communicate with us via text and email to let us know that the VIT has been expelled and therefore a calf has been born. The whole purpose of this study is so that we can investigate calf survival and how timing of birth and maternal investment affect our survival rate of calves in Pennsylvania. So unfortunately we had another failed attempt at a calf that dropped yesterday. Uh, the mother is in very thick vegetation and isn't allowing us to get close enough to see if she's giving us any inclination as to where her calf is. So we currently have two more calves on the ground in the Cleveland area, which is about 45 minutes away from where we are now. Uh, and it looks like those calves dropped sometime this afternoon. Uh, they are currently a higher priority than this one that we can't find. So we are heading over there uh, to hopefully find some better luck. Okay, follow me, we're gonna try to locate the cow. Stay about 10 yards back. Yeah. Did you get yeah. oh, you're looking at it? Because this project is so labor intensive, we brought on two seasonal technicians to assist with the research. So each calf processing requires multiple people to be there, not only for handling the calf and processing it, but also because female elk tend to show much more maternal aggression than whitetail, for instance. So in certain circumstances, it is very useful to have people on the periphery to keep a lookout for a cow in case she decides to get too close. So the first thing we do when we locate a calf is we put a blindfold on it to minimize its stress. You guys ready? After that, we will take a quick DNA punch out of the ear. We will give it two unique ear tags. We will sex it. Looks kind of beautiful. We will weigh it, and then we will put a collar on it. The whole process takes about five to 10 minutes, and we purposely work as quickly as possible uh, in order to minimize the stress on both the cow and the calf. Based on the cow and calf collars locations, we are able to see that they both quickly reunite after release. The first calf that we captured was born on May 27th, and based on their 245 day gestation period, we know that he was conceived around September 27th of last year. 
As our capture season moves on, we will gain more insight into the distribution of the timing of our births and therefore the timing of conception. Reduced survival may be an implication of delayed conception. 